Good morning, my dear students. This is the part 2 of chapter 3, squares and square roots. We shall begin with some problem solving on perfect square. Question number 1. Find the smallest number by which 1500 should be multiplied so that the product is a perfect square. So, we have to find the number by which if we multiply 1500, it will become a perfect square. For that, I have done some rough work. I have to find the prime factors of 1500. If I divide 1500 by 2 by the smallest prime number, I get 750. 750 is again divisible by 2. So, I get it 375. Now, I have to divide 375 by 3. I get 125. I cannot divide 125 by 3. So, I take the next prime number that is 5. 125 divided by 5 will give 25. Then if I divide 25 by 5, I get 5. So, 1500 is equal to 2 into 2 into 3 into 5 into 5 into 5. So, if I make group of 2 similar numbers, that is 2 into 2, then 5 into 5, 3 and 5 are left alone. So, I shall get 1500 is equal to 2 square into 5 square into 3 into 5. 3 and 5 cannot be grouped with the same number. We don't have factors. So, it will give 2 to the power 2 into 5 to the power 2 into 3 into 5 is 15. So, for a number to be a perfect square, it should be it should make pairs of all its prime factors. So here, to be a perfect square, 1500 should be multiplied by 15. If we multiply which, uh, by 15, 1500 into 15 will become a perfect square. Next question, find the smallest number by which 8, 1, 1, 2 be divided to make it a perfect square. For solution, we will first find the prime factors of 8, 1, 1. 8, 1, 1, 2 is divisible by 2. So, we get 4, 0, 5, 6. Again, 4, 0, 5, 6, uh, 6 is divisible by 2. We get 2028. 2028 is divisible by 2. We get 1014, which is divisible by 2 again. We get 507. If we divide 507 by 3, we get 169. 169 is divisible by the next prime number 13. 13 into 13, 169. So, I divided 13 by 13 which gives 1. Therefore, 1, 8, 1, 1, 2 is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 13 into 13. I can write it as 2 to the power 2 into 2 to the power 2 into 13 to the power 2 into 3. 3 is left without grouping. So, to be a perfect square, we have to eliminate 3. If we divide 8, 1, 1, 2 by 3, we will get a perfect square. Now, I have given uh, same kind of uh, problems to solve you as homework. So, I have written in the slide only question 1 and question 2. 
you solve it as homework and submit it in the evening. Now, next topic is properties of square numbers. So, property number 1, point 1, no perfect square ends with 2, 3, 7 or 8 at the units place. So, by looking at the number, by looking at the last digit of the number, we can tell that if a given number is a perfect square or not. Point number 2. A perfect square ends with 0, 1, 4, 5, 6 or 9 at the units place. So, to check whether a given number is a perfect square or not, we have to check the last digit of the number. Question here uh, 1. So that the following natural numbers are not perfect squares. Number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 3. At units place, the digit is 3. 3 I have uh, underlined with a red ink. So you can see that. Therefore, using pro, uh, point 1 of property 1, I can tell that it is not a perfect square. Property number 2. If a number has 1 or 9 at units place, then its square ends with 1. Point 2 of property number 2. If a number has 4 or 6 at the units place, then its square ends with 6. Now question number 2, what will be the unit digit in the squares of the following number? Number 1, 31, number 2, 2968, number 3, 722. Solution, question number 1, unit digit of 31 is 1, so its square will be 1 square which will give 1 into 1 equal to 1. For number 2, units digit of 2, 9, 6, 8 is 8. Therefore, square of 8 square is 64. The last digit or the units place digit is 4. For 3, units digit of 722 is 2 that is 2 square is equal to 4. Property number 3 a number ending with odd numbers of zeros is never a perfect square. Now we shall see it with, a, with an example. Question number 3 number 1 64,000 number 2 2500 number 3 5 lakh 5050 solution for this will be like uh, question number 1 64000 has 3 numbers of zeros at the end so 3 zeros 3 is an odd number so it can never be a perfect square number 2 2500 has two zeros at the end. 2 is an even number. So, it can be a perfect square. 5,50 has one zero at the end. So, 1 is a odd number. So, it can never be a perfect square. Now, class work, a very simple one only. Question number 1. So, that the following numbers are not perfect square. 7928 and 5, uh, 1537. Question number 2 is, what will be the units digits in the squares of the following numbers? 
you have to find the unit digits as i have done while explaining the chapter to you so this is uh, for today uh, have a good day